Hey guys, this is Tim Hart, branch manager of Van Dyke Mortgage and host of Rates and Reels. Welcome to an episode of Rates and Grills. We're right here in downtown historic Fort Myers, Florida, here at my buddy's restaurant, King's Kitchen, Ozzy Morble. He's gonna come in here and he's gonna show us how he cooks up some fish. And guys, this restaurant is right in downtown Fort Myers. High rise condos around us, the Clusahatchee River's right beside us. You got the Edison home right down the road. So it's a really cool place. So let's go in and check out his restaurant and see what he has cooking. Hi, all right, King's Kitchen. Hey, Ted, what's up, man? Ozzy, what's up, dude? Good to see you, brother. You as well. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, what a cool place. Thanks, brother. Well, let's get something to eat. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. You're gonna be, you're gonna be cooking the fish. Sure am. All right, let's Come go. On. All right, we're back here in the kitchen of King's Kitchen. That's right. It's kind of fun to say right there. I love it, but it's a little hot back here, isn't it? <laughs> I told him, I was like, man, if I did this, <laughs> I'd lose like 20 pounds in like a couple weeks. That's, so. why, I, that's why I keep my feet here. It is. Well, sort of. Yeah, you're in good shape. And all the walking around. All right, so we got the redfish here, right? We got the redfish You're right gonna here. talk. Beautiful this piece of redfish. Rates and grills. This is your area. I'm gonna let you jam. You're gonna tell us how you're gonna cook it and what all happens But well, luckily for me, Edward and Sean are chefs here. They're, let, they're letting me cook for you. All right. Which is something I love to do, so. Our chef Sean came up with a really nice marinade for this fish. We've got a garlic lime base. I see a little, uh, what's a parsley cilantro in there. It looks really nice. I had it marinated not very long. You have to be careful with uh, seafood when you marinate it, especially if you use citrus, because citrus will cook it through. So, be marinated for maybe 15 minutes, all the time we need. Let's have a little fun here. We use some. Cast Iron Skill is here at King's Kitchen. This okay. thing's been here since it was a restaurant here before. It's almost 50 years old. You talk about a skillet that's nice and well seasoned. This thing right here is almost 50 years old. It's wow. amazing, man. It's, it's, it's our baby. We call it Big Bertha. I was holding it for that is that it's oil that we use just to, okay. to make sure it doesn't stick. We make, you gotta make sure that it's really, really hot when you cook fish or anything in this skillet, really. It's a nice catch. Who caught this baby? That was all you, man. Well, that was know, your man. day. Yeah. Jeez. Let that sizzle a little bit. Now this killer holds a lot of heat, so that's what we put in. We have to drop the heat down a little bit. Otherwise, we're gonna burn it. One thing about fish, you don't want to overcook it. You don't want to undercook it. You don't want to eat sushi. You want right. to hit it just right. This is a nice big piece of fish. It's gonna be really hard to flip, but I'm gonna. You want to try it? No, 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 man. You're you not. Sure? This is the one piece of fish. You're not. I'm not doing that on video. Oh man. This is you. You're gonna put it all so on me. So if, <laughs> if you blow it, if it's I blow on you. it, man, that, it's all on me. This is so cool to watch this, and also because I love food. I get, he's gonna make this in front of me. I would never be able to make this dish at my house. You can do it. I, okay, well, you can try. Yeah, yeah, I don't have that 700 year old cast iron skillet yeah. you got though. Well, you can get one at Target. Nah, yeah, it not It won't be the same for over 40, 50 years, right. so you can get one there. Well, these things you have to season, right? Like the cast iron, like the, more, the longer you it You season it, man. You know what people always freak out? They're like, you don't wanna, you don't wanna wash it. And I know it sounds crazy, but you like what I mean by that, you don't want to scrub it down, right. you don't want to drop soap in it. It's not made for that. I mean, they just kind of let the heat take care of itself, all the greases that go along with it, all the, all the flavors stick to it. We can actually put a steak in here with no seasoning at all whatsoever, and it will taste seasoned. Put a burger in there the same way. Fish, you, you're gonna taste it. You're gonna taste a little bit of everything on this fish. Huh. I've, I've seen some of our guys here in the, you know, back in the day, not knowing some of the guys in the back, take this in the back and scrub it down. I almost wanted to grab yeah, it. Yeah, right. Dude, <laughs> stop! Stop! I mean, don't do that! You know what you're doing! <laughs> but they learn quickly. Okay. You know, I, don't, I don't yell at people, you know, but. Shout out to Sean back here. He's jamming. Sean's the man, man. Sean's been they with got us for, customers in here, too. Sean's so. been with us for some time now, man. He's doing a great job for us, man. He comes up with some amazing specials. So yeah. I'm in between him and Edwin, man. I'm, I, I come up with a few here and there, but man, all the stuff you see on Facebook and what I'm always posting, that's that's them. That's what they're doing, man. And it's and it gets people in. I mean, they're good. Luckily for me, I get to try all of them. Every time I take a picture of one, it's got to go somewhere, right? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, gets but at King's Kitchen, like, you guys are doing a bunch of different uh, menu items and always trying a lot of new things as well. Yeah, we, um, no, we mix it up, man. We have, we call ourselves comfort, comfort food. But we're a little bit of everything, man. We our steaks are amazing. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. The way we cook our steaks and the skillets and the way we season them, they come out really good. We're everything. We just we just like everything. We're, we're, right. we're trying to please everybody, which is hard to do. But we're not doing too bad. I'm gonna see if I can. Um, All right, here we go. Sure this, this baby's not sticking to anything. Oh, I think it's gonna be great, man. 
You have to be careful with this kill. It's really, really hot. Let's see if you do it. You have to be quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, I got nailed. You did? My bad. No, it's all right. Here, I got it. Sorry, Alex. Appreciate it. Now, this is some of the marinade. This is some of the marinade we had left. Let's just put it right over it, man. I'm going to go. This is the same stuff you had on the other side, right? On this side, yeah, but I'm just going to put it on it. And what's in it's the marinade? It's not going to hurt anybody. Uh, the garlic, lime are the main ingredients. Yeah. That I'm, it's going to have a little spice to it. Which, do you like spice so like, how, how, Yeah, sure. I'm going to like whatever you put out there. So, like, how long for each side when you're doing this? I estimate, I mean, that was at about uh, three, four minutes on that one side. Yeah. This, this side's going to cook a lot faster. I love the color they come up with. Yeah, yeah, awesome. that, that's actually really nice. I did good. <laughs> <laughs> I did good. Thank <laughs> you, Sean. Surprise. Thank you, like, Well, you know what? I, mean, I love cooking. You know, I, I'm. I'm obsessed with cooking, I'm, I'm one of those people. This is hard to cook. The texture's different, like I told you earlier. You don't want to overcook it or undercook it. You have to hit it just right. Well, fish, it's like easy to fry, but, oh, like, yeah. but to do something like this, to turn it into like uh, a unique dish or something that's uh, you know a lot different, just throwing well, batter yeah. on it, throwing it in the fryer. We could have sat here and yeah, throw it in the fryer. Yeah, it's Which good. There ain't nothing wrong with fried no, fish. No, it was delicious. Freaking love I could have sat here and get, I got some skillets down here that are non-stick. One of those fancy, I could just, Flip it around like a pancake. You know, you gotta do it the right way. Right. You're a king's kitchen, you know. I, mean, I want I want I want this fish to taste good. I mean, it was a lot of work for me to catch this baby. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Captain right. Ozzy. Dude, Captain right. Ozzy was a man. Yeah. He was dude, that was a good guy. Yeah. I I, I I follow him now on Facebook and Instagram. Man, that was a great but I mean, You see, like he's always putting people on fish like that. Dude, like he's awesome. it's nuts, right? He's, Every time I see a fishing tournament, like I told you before, his name's there on the, yeah. on the, on the leaderboard. It's like, how does this guy do it? Can, all right, well, let me hit up. You're cooking something here, here too, right? Yeah, it's called it's a sofrito sauce. Sofrito is a blend. It's a, it's a Spanish, almost like a Spanish marinade, Spanish sauce. It's got some um, peppers, onions, cilantro, garlic, and it's a really good sauce that um, in Spanish cooking is just for When I say Spanish, I don't mean just Caribbean. I mean Spanish overall. You go to Spain, they use something similar to it. It's going to be a uh, part of our little surprise we're going to serve it with. Okay. So, you let me just get it back and hot for you. Surprises are good. By the way, you can get uh, King's Kitchen to go through Uber Eats, Bite Squad, uh, Grubhub, all those companies deliver for us. This is our Pastelone. Pastelone is like a sweet plantain lasagna, bro. Dude, it's, it looks <laughs> so good. I'm telling you, it's Someone layered. already ordered this? Because we'll take it right now. No, this is sorry. Right. Bite Squad's got it. Somebody's got to get it at home. So, yeah. this stuff is delicious. This is one of our biggest sellers. Think of it, sweet plantain lasagna. Instead of pasta, layers of sweet plantain, seasoned ground beef, cheese, cheese, love. Bro, amazing. Bye. One of our See you later. You're about to have the best fish meal you've had in a long time. <laughs> We're doing that and this and this. You're going to be like, Ozzy, what the hell? I think it's ready, man. Now, here's a surprise I was talk talking to you about, This brother. is a surprise. This is something that we're okay. going to make our specialty. It's called mofongo. Mofongo is a huge, very, very famous Puerto Rican dish. It's known worldwide. It's a mashed green plantains that we mash with um, mojo mix, garlic, butter, oil, uh, salt, pepper, and chicharron, which is no, pork, pork wings. And we mash it together, make it almost like a mashed potato, but better. It doesn't taste like mashed potato, it's like its own flavor. We're actually gonna and it's it called fish. what? It's called mofongo. Mofongo. Mofongo, M-O-F-O-N-G-O. Okay. I like what you say it too. Bro. You know, it's the first time I ever did that. That's <laughs> but, um, sounded powerful. I think I stole it, right? But it's really good, man. It's on that, you know what? If you ever go to vacation in Puerto Rico, if anybody ever goes or comes back, they come here and looking for it. And we've had a lot of requests for this for a long time, and we're now finally starting to do it. We're finding ways to make it in a way that doesn't put, uh, hold our kitchen back. It's amazing, bro. You're going to try it? All right. Something new for you. So what I'm going to do is my phone right here. Look at that Oof. beauty right there. All right. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this fish. It's nice and hot. Let's try to keep it whole. Can you do it? Well, it's going to be harder on the flip. I'll tell you that. Oh, man, that's not good. Dude, you nailed it. You're pretty good, man. Let's slide it right on top of that mofongo. And then we got this little nice sofrito sauce over here, man. This, this is also sofrito sauce. some of the love that we use here at King's Kitchen. We'll put a little bit on this side over here. We'll get that way. And over there. This guy. I'm, try I'm trying to be like the guys back here, man. I see you, dude. I learned a lot from these guys, man. Right. Put it like that on the top. It's missing something here, so. Ah. Doesn't look like it's missing anything to me, but. It's missing some cilantro. Oh, all right, there you go. I like to throw. Well, you know, I, I, um, I hit it right, that's right. That's our fish. 
some lemon lime. <laughs> nice work, man. I'm not gonna eat it. Not too bad, huh? Yeah. You ready to eat? Absolutely. Let's go, Yeah, bro. man, let's do it. Oh, here we go. Here comes Nate. Nate, thanks, brother. Look at that. Thanks, dude. Not a problem. Man, you know how to have my phone on me? We'll know what I would do <laughs> oh, right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I hear you. Try it from this side. It's a thicker part of the fish. That's like... Right here? Like this guy? Yeah, there you go. That's okay. nice and toast on the outside. Yeah, should I put any kind of a, like sauce on it first, man? No, no sauce, man. The sauce is already on it. Oh, man. Dude, I suppose that outer crust of that, too. That's really good. That's pretty freaking good, man. Dude, we almost had to beat you out right there. I know, I was like, wow. Oh, dude, that's really good. Nice and crushed. You yeah. killed that. So what's next? Well, now you gotta try it with a little bit of the mofongo on the sofrito sauce. So go fish, mofongo. Yeah, a little bit of everything, man. You, okay. you went to the mofongo first without it? Yeah, yeah, Give I it did. Give it a try, see what you think. This is mofongo. I've never had this before. Straight up. Looking for a treat. I like it. Very, very tropical, huh? Yeah. No, it's really, it's really, really good. good. You're on the islands, you're in Jamaica or Puerto Rico, or something. it's like, <laughs> This is really good. I'm not just saying that because he's sitting right here and we're on video. I'm going to another bite. Would you order this if you're sitting in the menu somewhere? Oh, yeah. I would. Let's wow. wrap this video up and then we'll just, just destroy this thing. You're eating good today. Okay. So, we're down here, King's Kitchen. I got Ozzy here. Ozzy, where can everyone find you? 2150 West 1st Street, downtown Fort Myers. Uh, by Publix, Pinchers, and Joe's Crab Shack, right in between them. Yeah. Also, and, and, and Facebook, and so, Instagram, so. Twitter, we're all over the place. You're everywhere. Everywhere. Man, he killed this fish. Don't forget to check out the episode where Ozzy caught all these fish. Remember, Grand Slam, Tarpon, Snook, Trout, Redfish, with Captain Ozzy Fisher. Awesome episode, check that out. So you guys, hope you enjoyed this Rates and Grills and learn how to cook some fish with some little, uh, you know, island flavor, right? And watch that thing on the bottom. On Fongo! That's ah, close enough. That's <laughs> close enough. <laughs> close enough. All right, guys, Tim Hart, Van Dyke Mortgage, and host of Rates and Reels. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, low rates, tight lines. Thanks, everybody. Time yeah. to eat, man. Time to eat. Yeah, over here. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. There you go.